Hey everybody, here we have this Bastac ASX 312 e-power supply. Um, this unit is one of the units that's been affected by the infamous brown slash tan glue. And what happens over time with these units that have this tan glue in them is on hot spots, the glue will darken with time and it will cause a number of problems. So you may be able to see, for example, right about there. You may be able to see a dark spot in the glue. When that glue gets dark, it can become corrosive and also it can become conductive, which is not good for something like this. So I have actually done a couple of videos in the past of removing glue in these units, at least the tan glue and trouble spots. And one spot in particular where it becomes a serious problem is right there. I've actually had one of these units explode on me years ago because of that glue. This is back before I was really aware of the whole issue with the glue to begin with. But this one here, it's after got the glue issue, but it's in sort of a different area. So let me get the camera set up here and see if I can get some of that mess out of there. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to <clears throat> get out what I can using just new nose pliers and maybe some tweezers. One thing I should note is, as you may be able to see here, once that stuff gets, um, once it darkens, it gets very brittle. So, I guess on the flip side, it's actually not so bad. Because, uh, literally, it just crunch, it, it just crumbles right out. So, I gotta get in here and try to nibble it out. Now, in some cases, it can get bad enough to where I have to disassemble the unit. Like, I need to, I'll have to take capacitors out. Sometimes I have to take this transformer out. Yeah, it just depends. I might have to in this unit. I don't know for sure. Try to see if I can avoid that. So for example right up here is another spot where it's really gotten dark. I'm telling you, it's just, it, it gets so brittle. It's, uh, it's crazy. Let's see more of it on the back here. Now, when it's not extremely dark, it's got sort of a tacky feel to it. Um, it's kind of I mean, kind of tough but what happens is over time the heat just breaks this stuff down into a again a very corrosive and also conductive matter and it can cause problems around anything in the unit that has high voltage such as like coupling capacitors and anything on the high voltage part of the unit. These units, they run around, I want to say 320 volts, something like that, DC on the primary side. So once you increase that voltage like that, you get that voltage up, this glue I mean, it tends to want to conduct easier, which is why I'm not, I'm not nearly as concerned about it over in the secondary side as I am on the primary side. And of course, you want to use care around component leads so you don't break them out. But the idea is to try to get a lot of stuff out of here. Again, make sure you're not ripping out leads. <sighs> you 
case y'all think this unit's bad. <laughs> I've seen worse. As mentioned, I'm particularly mainly concerned about the glue and areas around component leads, especially in the high voltage side. This stuff can do some pretty nasty stuff. I think we'll leave that. But anywhere where it's getting really dark, I'm going to try to get it out. Should note that Best Tech is not the only power supply OEM from this era that was using this glue. I've seen it in high pros, I've seen it in light ons. Ugh. Alright, guys, let me get you a close up right here. Um, where this load resistor is. So you may be able to see right there in that area, there was a load resistor and this stuff, that glue was on it. And of course that load resistor, it gets hot. And that glue, it just, it's like it turns into this caramelized solid. It started, it started out as a sort of a semi-flexible like this here is still sort of a uh, flexible you can move it around a little bit but when it gets superheated like that over time it just it's like it caramelizes and it will corrode the legs of anything nearby anyways um I think that about wraps up for this one. I'm not going to get every single bit out of there. Um, but I did want to get did want to get that stuff out of at least the crucial areas of this unit. Or the critical areas. Where it's known to cause problems. Um, so it looks like we were able to get this thing <laughs> a little better than it was. Again, as long as it's not in the high voltage section, I'm not super concerned about it, but I know this probably wasn't the most exciting video, but that's just another example of the glue gone rogue in one of these older best tech power supplies. So anyways, that wraps up for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can notify new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Cubic Amp MTDX. Over there, you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.